guys, I'm here with Stephanie. I'm so excited today um, to be able to talk to her today. Stephanie, can you hear me? I can. How are you doing, Kelly? Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm so super excited. Um, I've been wanting to do, we've been wanting to collaborate for a while. Um, and I'm so excited because you are such a, the, the guru expert at, um, <laughs> at skincare stuff. So I'm really excited to talk to you today because I didn't even realize um, just a little background information. Stephanie actually uh, sells um, some of her own skincare stuff. Um, she makes her own blends. Um, she is very much into essential oils, but she's also into like healthy living. Um, um, she's um, lost a significant amount of weight. So she's um, very passionate about that. She's got a blog. Stephanie, you have a, a group for um, information on healthy living that's called Gracefully Balanced Life. I'll show the link to that. Um, but you have, um, there's so many different ways that these that people can get out. Let me show your Facebook page that people yeah. can follow you. But you have more information than just skincare. It's about healthy living oh, yeah. in general. I'm gonna talk about healthy skincare and how we can do it um, in some natural ways and what constitutes a really good skincare regimen because that's so important. Um, and so many of us, like me, <laughs> busy moms, skip so many steps in taking care of our, our skin and um, why it's important to make sure that we do certain things to take care of it, not only from the inside out. But anyway, so Stephanie, I'll, I'll let you chat. Um, Just a little bit about me. Um, I'm 40. I have three kids, 20, well, my, my oldest will be 23. Um, then I have my next look. daughter, she'll be 20 soon. And then a 17 year old son. Uh -huh. um, I, I went to cosmetology school. I was a hairstylist, makeup artist, really working on opening um, up my own salon when my son was in kindergarten. It was actually a spa. So um, I then became a massage therapist um, wow. to do some of the body treatments. That. Yeah, uh -huh. it was, um, it's, it was, I was, I had to technically to be, you know, the um, owner of the establishment. I also right. have rheumatoid arthritis and um, Hashimoto thyroidism. Okay. So that led me more on the natural path. Um, uh -huh. You know, with my uh, endocrinologists and my specialists, they all told us that it was a combination of environmental toxins, overloaded yeah. on environmental toxins, some type of either virus or stress that had triggered that immune response. Mm -hmm. Right. So my, my main thing was I need to get all that crud out of my house. I need to stop using right. it on my body because our skin is the largest organ in our body and we absorb exactly. so exactly. much of it. So um, that was what led me to essential oils way back in 2005. So this routine has been a combination of not only my professional, um, you know, education, my education as a cosmetologist, but also me being an informed consumer and my, uh, you know, my own personal health advocate. Um, yeah. Right. So, mm -hmm, yeah. So like it, it, it's, it's a combination. I wouldn't so that's say that it's passionate about having natural skincare and yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say it's like your, your traditional, um, approach, but, um, you know, it's worked best for me. So, right. um, and my daughter, you know, my daughters have beautiful skin. So, you know, it's, it's working. It's, I think it's working. <laughs> right, but, right. 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 Yeah. But, um, so what I, I personally use, I like to, I've always made my own, um, wow. you know, always. my own, um, skin, like, you know, um, I, I will use, you know, I've used Mary Kay in the past. I've used, right. um, um, L'Oreal, I've used everything all the way up to, um, you know, um, philosophy and the, uh, um, allergenist, um, those are expensive, so expensive. Right. And mm -hmm. I can honestly say from everything that, you know, I could buy as a professional things I get at Sephora, um, to what I'm using right now, I have never had the results. Really? The, yeah, I believe never, it. Never, not, not even right. everybody who sees me now. And you can even look at my pictures on, you know, like on my, on my social media. If you were to look right. at my pictures five, 10 years ago, I look just, I, my skin looks better. Like I'm going to say wow, my skin wow, looks better wow. than it did in my twenties now at 40. So the That's only thing crazy. I you know, attribute that to is, is this type of um, regimen. Yeah. Right. 
so doTERRA has fallen it, it's it's played a huge part in um their their natural skin i know you use raj right yeah right 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 mm -hmm. and I, I i told you you know this is how i i got converted is because um i tried to use other products and um I kind of went through an autoimmune crisis and I was just like, I have got to change. And so it forced my hand because I wasn't a real big believer. I was like, they're not going to work, uh, you know, you know, and I, and I really need to, I felt like I needed to pay 300 bucks for a skincare line and my skin always absolutely hated it. Um, so it was crazy. I would, um, I started using their, their skincare. And if, if, um, and this is just a side note, their skincare is like number one on the list of harmful ingredients. Like you could consume it. It's so clean. And yeah. Um, yeah. My, yeah. And my skin was completely different. Like yeah. it's been night and day different to what it was before when I was using oil, oil of ole and Rodan. And you know what I mean? Like it's completely yeah. different. I use Boost or what is that? Boots number seven. You yeah. know, oh, all yeah. that Target. Stuff. I love that. Yeah. I, love, you so. know, I still do. I still will use um products like i'm going to share i still do use some good products you know i'm not i'm, I'm not anti um right anti right. product from you know your store um but what has worked best for me um is definitely yes, making your own. Yeah. so so tell me like what constitutes a good skincare regimen what do we need to make sure that we're doing okay to take well care of um, my philosophy with skincare is very similar to my health care so okay. everything is, starts from the inside and much like food, right. you want to nourish your skin. Um, so a really well, healthy, rounded diet, low in refined sugars, you know, you, all that will display itself on your skin. So right. no refined sugars, um, no refined flowers. Um, I like to stick personally to the 80-20 rule. 80% right. of the time I am, I'm clean eating, I'm sticking to you know nothing 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 bad for my skin but 20 yeah. 20 percent of the time i'm gonna allow myself a slice of pizza i'm gonna allow myself a scoop of ice cream or a frappuccino from from starbucks you know what i mean as right. long as I'm, I'm i'm doing that 80 20 i've found that um i benefit the most and i don't feel like i'm depriving myself so i'm less likely to mm -hmm. fall off the train exactly um, yeah so i'm gonna be looking at my notes i have because i will just go on and on and on if i don't stay on um so you know, working from the inside out and natural, natural as possible, just like we had talked about just a second ago, your skin will absorb everything. So you want to stay as natural as possible. Right. Um, you also want to be consistent, not to say that, um, you know, you're going to like, if you skip a day or something, your skin's going to just fall apart. However, um, you know, just like exercise and anything, anything in life, you know, if you want to succeed, if you want to have like the best um, results, you want to be consistent. So I wash um, morning and night. Um, I do this, this routine morning and night. Um, and mm -hmm. you also, you know, you, you want to protect yourself. So when you're out in the sun, you want to protect yourself from sunscreen. I was a huge tanner. Um, I'm really pale. So I was right. a huge tanner growing up. As a teenager, I stopped. And I still have some of that damage. So to prevent it in the first place is just is really important. Um, hydration, you know, if your skin, most of us are dehydrated and we don't even realize it. We will, you know, think we're hungry, but we're really thirsty. So uh, right. just your plumpness, you know, if your skin is um, not hydrated and full, it will Perfect. look creepy right. and saggy. And so um, hydration right. is really, really well, or really, really important. And um, also um, I am huge on exfoliation um okay probably you know my, my my philosophy on exfoliation probably doesn't run mainstream because you would you'll see uh -huh. a lot of um mainstream um you know estheticians dermatologists say exfoliate once to twice a week i'm a daily exfoliator wow. i exfoliate okay. every single night before i go to bed okay and um the reason being so if you think about your skin and uh -huh. you have all these cells that are like shingles stacked up on top right. of each other. Well, if you're buying all these great products, if you're using essential oils, if you're if you're doing all this to your skin and you're just sitting that on top of your skin, on top of those dead skin cells, there's uh -huh. it's not gonna penetrate. Our skin is amazing, it has an amazing natural barrier. Um 
that is going to prevent them from really sinking in. Uh -huh. And on top right. of that, you're going to get those wrinkles, those real, real deep wrinkles. Right, right. Because they're like just this. stacking up on top. I, you know what? Me too. I have that. Right. Uh, that too. That, that's right. nothing. I, that's not going to go away. But you know right. what I mean? Like you're going to get those, those wrinkles, those dead skin cells, and just on top of each other, on top of each other, making those wrinkles right. deeper. So um, I exfoliate every single night. I actually use um, a product. You can get at Walmart, you can get at Target, you can get them um, anywhere. There are these awesome little, I thought I had one out. There are these awesome little, ooh, I don't know where the camera is because I can't see myself. <laughs> um, see they are little, like, um, I guess you could call them loofahs. Um, right, right, also right. also use, you know, kind of like, like a book club to use mm -hmm. back in the day. Right. Yeah, you could also use yeah, like Clarisonic yeah. um, or, you know, this isn't a Clarisonic, but something like that. Right, I right. personally have found these to be best. There's something that you have to work yourself up to. Um, if you have sensitive skin, they're definitely not for the, the faint of heart. But right. they get that blood flowing. They get all of that um, surface crap off. And right. um, one thing, though, that I've heard people say, oh, you're not supposed to exfoliate so often is because it'll destroy your natural barrier. Right, well, right. Well, that is true, but we are replacing it with these oils. We are right. building our barrier back up with natural carrier and essential oils. So right, right. That, that's not a problem. Now, if you were to just exfoliate with this and say slap on some Dove moisturizer, I wouldn't suggest that because right, you, right, your right. your your natural um, skin lipid barrier will be um, you know damaged, will be compromised. Right, right. So right. Um, that's not you know what I mean. Like I'm not suggesting that at all. If you are following a good regime with natural fatty acid oils, carrier or you know other uh, otherwise known as carrier oils mm -hmm. and essential mm -hmm. oils, you're building that back up. And you're building right. it up in a good way. And you're also allowing those treatments, the treatments to soak in. So it's, okay. it's like a win-win. So tell me so, about um, the carrier oils that, that you suggest and why are they great? Yeah. All right. Um, so all of these oils, they all have very similar properties that I'm going to talk about. Okay. However, they, they're different. They all have very similar nutritional profiles. When okay. You think about like as in vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin, but, but think about it in the same way that you think about your food. So kale right. is great and kale has all types of vegetables, but we don't sit and eat kale all day long. Uh -huh. We need a multitude of vegetables and fruits. We need a vitamin A from different sources. We need right. vitamin B from different sources. So right. it's the same thing with oils, even though they have similar profiles, mm -hmm. our bodies you know absorb them differently they treat them differently so all the oils that we're talking about they help with scarring wrinkling inflammation uh -huh. so good for like you know um dermatitis eczema rosacea that kind of stuff right um moisturizing nourishing so they're nourishing like vitamin wise to our skin sagging crepiness um acne blackheads um even exfoliation it, some of these oils even help with exfoliation so um, you think of oil and you think of it's such, such a huge misconception. I actually, um, throughout my adult, all the way from teenage to just a few years ago, had suffered. I've constant, I was constantly having a breakout. Sometimes right. I actually just full, full blown had acne. Um, wow. And I was doing everything right and I couldn't figure out while I was stripping that. I was, it was causing damage to my skin. I wasn't replacing that natural barrier. And um, so oils... Are, are are actually can be beneficial for acne. Right. So when you think so, of so oils, what, what carrier oils are you talking about that that do this for your my skin? My favorite. Well, some of my favorite, uh, and I'll, I'll share a few of my favorite. I personally love as as an overall base oil. Um, I don't use uh, coconut oil because coconut oil does make me break out all the okay. time. I, every time I've tried it, a million times, I've tried different coconut oils. It just isn't good for my skin. And that is something right. that you're going to have to play around with. You will have to, you know, what works, works for me might not work for you. They're just overall suggestions. Right. But um, grapeseed oil is my, is, is my favorite. It's really high in linoleic acid, um, which is a fatty acid. Tones, tightens. Mm -hmm. um, it's great for, you know, scarring. It's good for, for um, any type of oily acne skin. It absorbs really readily. Um, and then also sea buckthorn, which, you know, me and you have been, um, me, me and you have talked a, a lot about. We've talked in great, in great depth about it. Sea buckthorn actually has over 190 
nutrients and, and phytonutrients, um, really, really high in vitamin C. Um, mm-hmm. and also the carotenoids, um, the carotenoids, that's what makes um, this oil. Um, I have this right here. That's what makes this oil orange. It wow, is, is it orange? Wow, orange yeah. A red. Um, right. The carotenoids. Now, carotenoids is, um, you know, vitamin A. And when you hear vitamin A, you don't think anything special in, unless I, I put the retinoid. Ret- retinol. retinol. That's the same thing as like yeah. natural retinol, basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. So um, that helps with everything from, you know, in particular, it helps, you know, fight free radicals and, and all that. Mm-hmm. But it also helps with um, that, that, that um, barrier that, that we were just talking about. So it will help to um, really like what it does is it helps our cells kind of form a barrier on top. So when we're using C. buckthorn, we're replacing that good barrier, you know, mm-hmm. and it also helps with pre- premature aging, um, stimulates collagen. Um, it makes your wow. skin elastic. So it bounces back. Our skin's really resilient. You know, we, we, C-buck, so you're talking about C. buckthorn, correct? C. buckthorn. C. buckthorn. You no, know, yep. it's funny uh-huh. that you say that because that roller that I got from you that has that in there, the weirdest thing is about a week after using it, I felt like my skin wasn't as thin. It's yeah. really weird. It felt thicker and more elastic. And it, that was the first thing I noticed. It just, I don't know, I feel like as I age, my skin doesn't have the same elasticity as it used to have, and it's thinner, you know? And I was like, wow, it feels thicker. I don't know. So that's funny that you say that. Anyways, yeah. go ahead. I'm sorry. It helps. No, no, exactly. It helps to build up that collagen. Um, it helps to make your skin elastic, more pliable, so that when we're doing these wrinkle, when we're making these, you know, our skin's going to bounce back a lot um, faster. It's not going to keep those furrows um you know, it's, right. it's, it's an awesome. Um, another really awesome oil is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is also um, really high in that linoleic acid and also oleic acid. Um, oleic acid really helps with um, the regeneration of the scalp, of the skin cell and also oh. moisturization. So um, rosehip and rosehip is really in particular, rosehip is really good for um, sun damage. So previous sun oh, wow, damage, okay. um, uh-huh. any type of like hyperpigmentation, right, um, you're, right. you're really going to want to um, lean towards um, rosehip. So rosehip okay. is, um, in, in the, and just like I said be, before, you know, it's scarring, wrinkles, aging. I mean, you, you all these oils are are very good at that, but they, they have slightly different, like um, rosehip. Rosehip is um, 40, depending on what brand you get, it, it's anywhere between 42 and like 48% linoleic acid. So wow. you have a really heavy, um, you know, heavy hitter, like with the, the fatty acids in rosehip and right. also um, C. buckthorn. C. buckthorn, I think, is um, 23% um, percent okay. linoleic, but then yeah. it's also 30 um, something in the oleic. So it's, it, they're just amazing, amazing oils. Um, Another one that um and I, I, I re- bet any I bet you any money if you buy buy what's up I'm sorry no I was saying I bet you any money if you're buying that product in the store the concentration isn't hey Jenny the comfort concentration isn't quite as high as oh, what yeah. you're getting if you're adding it yourself you're buying the sea buckthorn and you're adding pure sea buckthorn i'm sure that it's yes you know what i mean more concentrated than what you're buying when you're getting a fraction of it because they're trying to save money on the product oh, you know yeah. you can go into sephora and drop an easy 80 bucks on some rose hip or some you know evening primrose and you look at the ingredients right, right. and you're looking at safflower oil or you know sunflower oil grape seed something first yeah and it's a it's a, a Oh, yeah exactly and if you're just going straight um so that's what i do i will um you know cleanse then use my oils but um i'll i'll, I'll touch on a couple other ones neem neem is also a really good oil um jojoba oil jojoba oil jojoba oil and sesame are very similar to okay. all our own um our own sebum and okay. um jojoba um jojoba, well jojoba sesame and argon those ones are just very similar to our own sebum and another thing too that what what they what they help is um is when we're breaking out when we have the blackheads you think how can um an oil help help remove blackheads well um our oil gets sticky 
it's not that this oil is going to clog your oil pores. It's when your oil gets sticky, when your sebum gets sticky, and 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 then on top of the dead skin cells, then they pile right. up, clog the pores, cause either a blackhead, um, you know, which then might get infected and cause a pimple. But mm -hmm. um, a lot of these oils, what they do is they keep our natural oil flowing and slippery, and and um, so that it's not 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 clogging our pores. Okay, great. So um, so we had so the last three were neem. Uh, so they get it, neem, argon, jojoba, and argon and jojoba are the similar to our sebum, our skin mm -hmm. sebum. So, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah. And then, and what then the another last really one? good one that I just um, started using is macadamia. Now, macadamia is really good in um, omega sevens, which okay. you don't see a lot of, um, but omega seven um, also helps with those that oxidative stress and um, with the the elasticity. So um, okay. it's, it's, a, it's a really awesome, um, awesome oil. And then um, castor. So castor, I wanted to um, touch a little bit on castor. Castor is an amazing oil for your hair, um, hair growth. Um, and it's also really good for cleansing. So I will use um, my, my, my normal skincare um, routine. I use the um, doTERRA's, um, the facial cleanser. Okay. So I'll put a little bit of this on my, um, you know, on a damp face. Put, uh -huh. um, this is amazing stuff, by the way. I have like a um, a, a quick um, little bit of info on this one. Um, this has in it yucca root and soap bark. So those are natural cleansers um, that are gentle and very effective. Um, wow. And this also has linoleic acid in it. Oh, it does it really? But, okay. Um, you just put it, you know, exfoliate just for a minute, or um, I will do the skin cleanse, um, the oil cleansing method. And I don't know if you um, have ever heard of the oil oh, cleansing method. Oh, I have method. not. Tell me about that. So um, there's a couple ways. You always want to use a castor oil. You always want to use a organic, um, you know, um, cold pressed castor oil. It's excellent okay. for what it does is it helps to break down that glue that holds your dead skin cells together and it okay. also helps to um it binds to those skin cells once it's once it's broken it down it binds to those skin cells and any dirt um, makeup that you have on your face and it, it will wash it away wow. so what you, you want to do a good rule of thumb is so say you have oily skin you mm -hmm. want to do um if you're doing oily skin you want to do about 30% castor oil to 70% say, um, oh, I don't have it here, my, my grapeseed oil. So, so you would do 30% um, castor oil, 70% uh -huh. grapeseed oil, or you could divide that 70% into, um, you know, sesame, um, you know, say like another 35 sesame and 35 grapeseed. That's mm -hmm. a good base for your um, oily skin. Now, so 30% oh, castor and 70%, what was the other oil? Well, you, you know, there's a, there's a lot. It just depends. Right. So you could do coconut oil um, for oily. You could do coconut. You can do neem. You could do yeah. um, grape seed. Um, you could do one, or you could do a combination of the two. So okay. um, it really just depends on what your what your oil is. Like me, I can't do coconut oil, so I stick with grape seed. Um, for normal skin, you want to do maybe say a twenty. 80 ratio, um, neem and, um, what else is good? Um, argon, hemp, um, you know, all those, like, you know, I, I think we'll put, put, I have like a list that goes, you know, like what oils are best for what skin type. You know um, what you send it to me and Stephanie, we'll add it to this later. Mm -hmm. If you send me the list, I'll, I'll add yeah. it for them later. So you can see yeah. it. That's awesome. And then now, and then if you're doing dry, if you have dry skin, then you want to go 10% castor um, the, and 90% and other oils, um, avocado oil, sesame. Um, those ones are really, really good um, for, you know, your dry skin. Right. Uh, argon's also really good. Um, but what you do, so you will massage this on your face, let it set for just a few minutes. You want to really massage it. You want those oils, like we were talking about how it breaks down those bonds. You want it to sit. You want a, a nice warm washcloth, set it on mm -hmm. your face, let it sit for a minute and wipe away. That's awesome. Takes, takes away makeup, um, gets rid of, you know, all the, the yucky, ex helps exfoliate and also helps to you nourish. So just, just a washcloth, not exfoliate with the oil. Not yet. You don't need to do, I mean, okay. um, you know, if you're doing this, like, like I said, every night I exfoliate. So if I'm doing this as my nighttime routine, I'm going to, you know, give some circular motions. I don't want to tug. One thing when I'm doing this, I do mm -hmm. not tug on my skin. I let, I, you know, I have 
the the cleanser on there and my face is moist so i'm using very very light i'm never pulling or tugging even when we're using washcloth or patting dry you're gonna let the you know the machine the the the, the whatever device whatever you're right. using um do the exfoliation along with okay. your oils so yeah um just if you're not you know if this is a morning thing or whatever you know just go ahead and wipe it off then mm -hmm. um i'm gonna follow follow that with a toner Okay. So um, the doTERRA has the pore reducing toner, which is mm -hmm. amazing. This is like amazing stuff. Um, this has, um, what was it? Oh, it has, um, well, it's witch hazel, but it has, um, oh, it has um, aloe vera. And there was something else that was really good that I was like, oh, I needed to tell you guys. Um, crud. Oh, watermelon. It was watermelon and apple extract. So this is an awesome one. Other, another one that I personally love and I, and I use myself is rose water. Rose water is amazing for our skin. And all you got to do is, you know, go out to your garden, pick some roses, um, steep them mm -hmm. in a pot, uh -huh. strain them, keep them in a jar. The only thing with rose water is you need to keep it refrigerated. Okay. It will, um, it will start to um, go rancid in a week to two weeks, depending on how cold your refrigerator is and depending if you have other essential oils in there. So if you're doing, um, you know, geranium and lavender, you're, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those are antimicrobial, antibacterial. So those, those pathogens aren't going to grow as fast and it's not right, going right, right. to, you know, it's not going to so get bad. What, what do you put in your rose? Cause I've, I've seen it before. Maybe we'll, I'll flash that too later. What do you put in your rose? Um, or, and that's not rose oil, but rose water spray. Yeah, so my rose water, I will usually just do rose water and geranium and sometimes okay. frankincense. So I'll just put, you know, a couple drops. But I just really like just rose water. You know what I mean? Just rose water, okay. um, just as a spritz, as a toner. Another good toner is um, witch hazel, just straight witch hazel. And oh. um, rice water. Rice water is amazing stuff. Um, it has so many benefits. Um, it okay. is you make it similar to, you know, like say you would rose water, you rinse your rice off, you, you put some water in there, you let it sit for, you know, anywhere. I've seen some people set, set it for, you know, a day. Um, but that cloudy water that, um, that comes from the, the rice soaking in the water, you want to strain off the rice and you also want to keep that in the refrigerator. I take just a cotton ball and I will swipe it um, on my face. Wow. A lot of times I'll do that just during the day. I will leave it on my face and it's amazing. It's, it's a really good, um, believe it or not, it's a really good primer because it, it fills in your, your pores and all of your lines right. um, and makes it like nice powdery finish. It's an awesome, awesome, um, awesome. Um, yeah. I don't know toner. what you call that recipe. Well, that's yeah, not a toner, but primer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, so yeah. I've never, never even heard of that one. That's awesome. So yeah. then, um, it's amazing. For before we go, I, I want to make sure that we talk about um, a few things. One is just mention a few essential oils that are great for, for skin, you know, because we've talked about. So like neem, sea buckthorn, so everybody understands. Neem, sea buckthorn, um, argon, those are carrier oils. So that's not yes. really an essential oil. That's an yes. oil that you would place essential oils in. So if someone were to choose to use essential oils, which ones would you recommend? Um, my favorite is been geranium by far. And I hate the smell of it, but boy, oh, it does something great for the skin. But if you can mention a few of those. Okay, yeah. Well, well let, me, let me, super quick. The skin tightening, I'll then follow up with your my skin tightening. I do this during the day. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, helps to tighten and lift. And then during the day, I will use either the anti-aging moisturizer. Um, right, or, right. Or... Uh, um, a little bit of the, um, this is, it's kind of funny. It's Dr. Brandt. Um, it's called Needles No More, and it is a 3D. Um, it helps to fill in your lines. I got this at TJ uh -huh. Maxx. This is a $50. You go to Sephora, you can find these at Sephora or Ulta. Ulta, it's like 50, 60 bucks, wow. and I got it over at TJ Maxx. Awesome stuff. Okay. Um, but at night, then I use the hydrating cream. The um, okay. I will, mine's a little bit blue. I put a drop of blue tansy in it. Okay. And this is amazing for, for night. So, um, blue tansy, that is one of my favorite, that, that I would say that is my favorite, um, essential oil for my skin. Um, mm -hmm. I had, when I very first got my, the blue tansy, I had 
horrible puffy, puffy, puffy eyes. Um, and I put literally just, I just ran my finger around the edge of the bottle and tapped it. And it is blue. Let me tell you, it is, is definitely right. blue. But within minutes, my puffy eyes were completely completely down so it was right. amazing i fell in love with it instantly so blue tansy frankincense geranium i love geranium geranium is definitely a, a smell i mean it's a beautiful smell but it's so strong um geranium right. i really love heliochrysum um i'm just now exp and myrrh um i'm just now experimenting with arborvitae so mm -hmm. um i had the idea that um you know i, I don't know if you've heard uh, a lot of doTERRA people compare uh, the arborvitae trees when they fall next to each other the arborvitae tree will not mm, rot as say a pine tree if they fall right next to each really? other it does not okay. rot like that and i thought well if it has that preservative properties for the tree the wood i want those preservative properties for my skin <laughs> you know what i mean like right, I'm, right, right. I'm gonna add those so i've been adding some arborvitae to my um oils um and then also hmm, looking over here roman chamomile juniper berry um now ju geranium juniper berry and roman chamomile those are our eczema those you know those have helped me a lot i get stress eczema yes. oh, yes. that's like by far my favorite blend that i've ever gotten from you I, like i said stephanie's a, a crazy blend guru and that that stress eczema from my psoriasis it has changed my life it's, it's a uh, geranium Chamomile. What's the third one? Geranium, Geranium. Um, and juniper berry. Juniper berry. Mm -hmm. it, the inflammation on eczema goes down immediately. I mean, the, the itching stops. Um, that's some crazy good stuff. And, I, and we actually use that one on my kids' eczema. Um, mm -hmm. I mix that in like some CeraVe. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a like jar. Berry. I'm telling you. Well, you know, geranium is awesome, but juniper berry has, is very clarifying to the skin. So um, it helps to tone, tighten, um, helps to, you know, get rid of the um, inflammation. It's just an awesome, awesome oil. So, yeah, juniper berry is really good for your skin also. Um, and um, what else? Obviously, lavender is amazing. Copaiba is really good for the skin, too. Um, there's so many. There's so many oils. Oh, spikenard. Spikenard is a very good really? oil. Really? I never knew yeah. that one. Either. Yep. And the roller. The roller that I gave you has spikenard in it. Right. So, so, so... Um... Last thing is before we go, in steps, what should we be doing? First is exfoliate. Uh, second, a toner. Why are toners important? Well, you is know, they're not vital. So if, if I, if you were a busy mom and you were to need to skip, skip, skip a step, I would, I would suggest a toner. So you're always going to want to cleanse. I um, personally think that you should be exfoliating once a day as long as you're repairing that natural barrier. Um, so if you're cleansing, you're exfoliating, you're toning, um, you are then, at, you know, depending on if it's night or day, you will then do your treatments. So you're going to do your, you know, um, skin serums, you're going to do your brightening gels, or you're going to do your, um, you know, your, your oils, your rollers, you know, the, the, this is your treatment, treatment time. And then you're always going to finish it up with a moisturizer and sunscreen. Right. Okay. Um, Jen, Jen said she's loving a drop of blue tansy in with her lotion at night. I've been oh, seeing yeah. that people just take a drop, put their moisturizer in their hand, take a drop and just put, I mean, take a drop of blue tansy. Um, I, Cause it's so good for inflammation. Um, you know, and I have the same thing, the puffy eye thing, the dark circles under their eye, eyes, it works really good for that. So, well, exactly. we thank everyone for joining us today. We're going to hop on over to IG Live um, and repeat some of this information and probably say some stuff that we've forgotten. <laughs> I know. No, I was just thinking about that. I have some really cool DIY um, masks and treatments. If you want to know, go over there. Okay. Yep. So so we'll drop, drop, uh, uh, <laughs> jump on over to IG Live. So we'll talk about those. And don't forget, you guys can contact Stephanie at... Um, um, Grace, here, let me see if I can show this link. I'm not sure why it's not. Let's see if I can cut and paste this so we can get your information up here. Um, if not, I will add it to this later. There we go. There's Stephanie's web, web address, um, and I will add it in the comments uh, later so people can click and find you. Um, she, like I said, she's got a blog. She's got everything. She's got a, a group. 
She's got a Facebook page. There's so many ways to get in touch with Stephanie. And don't forget, she makes her own skincare products. One of my favorite is her wrinkle roller, which I just had here. And um, if you don't want to be bothered with blending all of the things she said today, like sea buckthorn, neem oil, argan oil, she's got it here for you. So this stuff is some great stuff. I've had Thank amazing you. results with this. I love it. So anyways, you can contact her by DM or through her page. And this thing is so affordable. I mean, yeah, 0% chance, 15 bucks, that you're going to be able to buy all that crap for 15 bucks. So you might as well just have her make you one. But it's awesome. All right. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Join us on IG Live so you can learn how to make your DIY um, facial products. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And I'm sure Stephanie will be glad to answer them. Absolutely. Have a blessed day. Contact Stephanie for a wrinkle roller or for other information at Gracefully Balanced Life. Link is in description. For more interviews, DIYs, and all other content, subscribe to Mom Saving Grace. Thanks.